We need to talk about Tua Tagovailoa. Now, in the Miami Dolphins 21-19 win over the Buffalo Bills, a game that featured Bills quarterback coach Ken Dorsey absolutely trashing the coach's booth. And we saw a butt safety off of a punt off of somebody's butt cheeks. The real thing that we should be reflecting on is the NFL's independent medical examiner and the Dolphins team physicians for sending Tua back into the game after he was clearly concussed in the second quarter. Now, if you haven't seen it, Tua took a hit from Bills linebacker Matt Milano. His head bounced off the turf. Tua looked like he was trying to shake it off, like he was dizzy shaking his head when he took his first step. And then after he took a couple more steps, he fell back to the ground to his knees and had to be helped up. Now, Tua was then taken to the locker room. The Dolphins informed the media that he would be questionable to return with a head injury. And then suddenly in the second half, Tua was back out on the field. And the explanation that was given was that it was from back spasms that happened earlier. And that was what led to his wobbly legs. Now, I've had multiple back surgeries stemming from my time in the NFL, but you don't have to be a former professional athlete or somebody like me who's had hundreds of back spasms to know what back spasms feel like. If Tua's back was seizing up, he's not getting up on his feet twice in 10 seconds. When you're in the middle of a real back spasm, you're lucky that you can even breathe, much less get on your feet. And now we live in an age where there's 4K, 1080, HD televisions, and it's gaslighting to tell people out in this country that what they saw as clear as day did not happen. Now, under no circumstances should Tua have been allowed to return to that game after showing signs of a concussion. Now, I've seen people say, oh, it's Tua's responsibility. He can pull himself out of the game if he feels like he was concussed. Well, how can you have good judgment if you have a concussion and think about your future? That's like asking somebody who just downed a bottle of Bacardi 151 and then them saying, oh, man, I feel good to drive. No, somebody has to take the keys away from that person because NFL doctors and the independent investigators have a right to a duty to protect the players from themselves, especially a guy like Tua, who is the, the a, trying to be the ultimate team guy, playing quarterback. He has the pressure of knowing that his owner, Stephen Ross, has spent the last two years looking for any and every reason to replace him. Ross was willing to risk his reputation to bring in Deshaun Watson, lose draft picks and cash over tampering with Tom Brady. And beyond that, Tua's second contract is on the, uh, it's right around the corner. And there are hundreds of millions of reasons why a guy like Tua would play or try to play through a brain injury. Yeah, it would be nice for Tua to try to ensure that his grandkids never want for anything out in the world. But it would be a lot better if he didn't have to struggle to remember their names. Now, the NFLPA has launched an investigation to ensure that the Dolphins have proper concussion protocol. And that's the right move. But the better move is to be proactive and not reactive and understand that you have to protect players from themselves sometimes because they will say it's anything to get back on the field. And an NFL franchise isn't worth a damn without the commitment to the health and safety of the thing that makes the money, and that is the players. And right now, the Miami Dolphins and the independent evaluator aren't worth a damn. Let that sink in.